to Magic's Music Editor, the editing and burning program for all types of audio material. The Music Editor offers a recording function, plenty of real-time effects, a CD burning function, various background noise and faulty signal removal techniques, and many more professional editing possibilities. To import audio files, select Open in the File menu. You can also import material using drag and drop from the Windows Explorer. To record with the sound card, select the record button in the transport controller or the button in the upper icon bar. A window opens in which the name, format, sample rate, file path, and other recording parameters can be set. Select Start to begin recording. The recorded object is immediately displayed. Select Stop to cease recording and then confirm. Use the handles to quickly alter the volume, fades, or duration. If the tempo, length, or pitch of an imported or recorded object does not fit with the other objects, it can be modified with the time shifting and pitch shifting functions. Pitch shifting alters the pitch of a sample without altering its length. Time shifting alters the length of a sample without altering its pitch. For instance, you can change the tempo of a drum loop without changing the pitch. The volume curve and the stereo panorama can be modified by hand. The curves can be altered with the handles. New points are created by double-clicking. To zoom, simply click in the project position bar and pull the cursor downwards. Press the T key to cut the object at this point. This creates two completely independent objects. Ranges are just as easy to delete. First, highlight the range, and then press the Delete key. These editing steps proceed virtually, meaning that the original audio material remains unaltered. To use loop editing, you require a highlighted range. The loop position indicates roughly where it is located. Even during playback, the range can be shifted or altered in order to find a suitable loop range. To obtain crackle-free loops, use Create Loop to set the limits of the range exactly on the zero point of the sample. And now, Effects. To open the mixer with the real-time effects, use the M key. Right mouse click the applicable effect regulator in the mixer. The FFT equalizer enables precision linear phase filtering of signals and is therefore perfectly suited for mastering. Sound Effects offers an effects rack with a variety of virtual effects devices. The 10 band equalizer subdivides the frequency spectrum into 10 ranges, each with a separate volume regulator. The compressor is an automated dynamic volume regulator. The dynamics of a piece of music is limited so that loud passages remain loud and quiet passages become louder. The Stereo Effects Enhancer allows you to edit the stereo panorama.
delay reverb module delivers a delay effect and a reverb effect. Effects called up from the effects menu work destructively, meaning that they are applied directly to the audio file used. To burn CDs with Magic's music editor, you should set the track marker at the start of the song. You can set a track marker before any object automatically. Or, you can place the cursor in the position where a track should begin, and then click the Track Marker button in the toolbar. The Burning dialog is opened by selecting the Create CD button, or through the CD menu. A dialog opens in which the burning mode and the CD properties can be set. By selecting the On the Fly option, all effects, fades, EQs, etc. are calculated in real time during burning. The high-quality burning routines create audio CDs according to Redbook CD standards that can be used as a master for further reproduction. We hope you enjoy creating great music with your Magic's Music Editor.